Welcome back to the show. And now we are joined by our fantastic guest. He is the co-founder of the Untold Festival, Mr. Eddie Cheery. How are you, sir? Good evening. Very well. Thank you for having me here. Wonderful. So I've heard so much about this festival. Uh, but I want to hear it direct from the man himself. Tell me more about the festival. Actually, it's going to be the first edition here in uh, Dubai. Uh, we're going to create together the first mega festival of uh, Dubai. After having this big uh, success in Europe, because the uh, first time told happened in uh, Europe, we started in, 2000, in 2015 in uh, Romania and Europe, and it became a big success for the f from the first edition. We got the European uh, awards for the major festival for the first edition, something that uh, only untold managed to uh, obtain for the first edition. And then our story keep growing, keep growing each year. And looks like next year in February, we're gonna come here in uh, Dubai from 15 to 18 of February, where we're gonna create uh, this uh, new story of us. Uh, and somehow I think uh, we're gonna have our contribution to the happiest city in the world, because mm -hmm. Dubai is the happiest city in the world. Well, I think you just answered the next question I was going to ask, Eddie, <laughs> because I wanted to know, first of all, why Dubai? And also, how is it going to be different from the version in Europe? Do you, is it going to be s mostly the same? Why we choose Dubai? Uh, we choose Dubai because we really like the vision of the leadership here, because here, if you have a dream and if you work hard enough for it, you can, uh, you can uh, success. And um, because we, we, we did this in Europe as well, and uh, because we had a lot of work there and we succeed with our project, we thought that here, with all the ambition of the city, with all the possibilities that are here, being in the, somehow uh, in a place that is like, an, uh, like a cultural hub with more than 150 nationalities living here, we thought that it's the uh, best play for us to go further with our story. And uh, again, being the happiest city in the world and us, untold, we are about friendship, about happiness, about joy, about uh, creativity, because, you know, it's not only about artists. We have uh, great names uh, that we reveal. Today, it was a big moment for us because we announced the big names like Armin Van Buren, Hardwell, uh, Bibi Reksha, uh, all of the I'm artists so that are already <laughs> announced. And th those are just the first artists announced. We're going to announce up to uh, 100 artists that will be playing in the festival. But beside the lineup, the untold, it's about the feeling that uh, you got over there. And uh, if you have friends uh, that were to Untold in Europe, they could yeah, tell you that. Yeah, yeah I have, have had friends. Yeah, oh, I've had friends nice. that have gone. That's what I'm saying. I'm excited about this. And <laughs> it's a big thing. This yes. is a massive thing for Dubai yeah. because like what you've uh, achieved in Europe is unbelievable. Thank you. And uh, what is most important for Untold, and I'm sure it's going to happen the same this year, is that we have the best crowd in the world. And here with all, uh, all this, uh, nationalities that are living happy here, for sure uh, we're going to have the same crowd. And again, being an international hub with all the people that, that travel here in Dubai, because Dubai in the end it's a destination, uh, a travel destination for a lot of people. Now adding this uh, festival uh, reason to come here, I'm sure uh, we will have our contribution in the developing of the, of the strategy of the city. Incredible. And Eddie, I hear you're taking over Expo City, six stages. Tell us about the magnitude of this festival and how big it's going to be in Expo City of all places. Yes, so we will have the best uh, home for us here in mm -hmm. Dubai because Expo City is one of the icons of Dubai. Mm -hmm. And we couldn't, uh, we couldn't aim for a better, uh, well, a better place for our festival here. Uh, we're going to do like a takeover, exactly like uh, you said. We will have uh, six stages and uh, one of the stage, the main stage, uh, it's going to be in one of the parking uh, place of the Expo City because we're going to build it from zero because we want to give like, an, uh, like a stadium experience on the main stage, exactly like it's in Europe. Uh, and I'm sure that uh, from some people it's going to be another reason to reconnect with Expo City for the yeah. people who've been in the past there. And for other people who maybe will come for the first time here in Dubai, they will uh, discover a very unique place. Yeah, 
definitely. Astrid? Tonight has been so diverse, you know, in terms of uh, forms of expression. We've got art, design, music is another form of expression. From an artistic uh, perspective, I heard that uh, the uh, Untold uh, Universe has started in Romania. How will you be and if you will be uh, translating the Transylvanian culture through the festival? That's right. Uh, we want to bring something from our culture, from Transylvania, because in the end, Transylvania it's a place that it's uh, known worldwide, and, uh, and we want to bring something for there. Uh, one of the things that is somehow uh, the most uh, valuable for us as a Romanian is the creativity. And uh, you will see in our festival that beside the lineup, beside the big names that we have. We have a lot of storytelling, we have a lot of stories that are put in place and you're going to see the stories from the way the main stage and the other stages are going to look, the design of the stages, uh, the design of the places, the zone of the food zone that will have a specific design and everything that it's, uh, that it's built specific for this, uh, for this event. And uh, we always are open to uh, creatives, uh, we always uh, are happy to embrace the creativity from all of the forms. That's why in Europe we have a specific place in the festival where uh, all the designers can express themselves, um, they, can, they can present their work and for sure we're going to do the same here, bringing the designers and the creativity from, from Europe, from Romania. And in the same time we would like to be like an open stage for uh, creativity and artists from all around the world because again, we are here somehow in the, in the center of the world and people are traveling from all around the world and uh, we want to express them in our, in our festival. So you're going to give local artists a platform as well? For sure. Amazing. For sure. Local artists will, be an, uh, will have an important, uh, important uh, role uh, in the yeah. festival and even uh, artists from other communities like, uh, like communities from Asia, communities from North Africa, so from all, from all the places where there are people who are living here, so they will find... So you, you're in the perfect place and you're recreating <laughs> Expo and you're in the perfect place. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, just going to be amazing. To debut in the Middle yeah. East, I think Dubai will be the perfect place because it it's got this vision, you know, upholding tradition while embracing modernity and looking towards the future. So this is exactly what you're doing to the festival. So I think yes. it will be a success story as it has been so Most far. Most definitely. I want to talk more about this off camera. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> trying to get tickets. Back. Yeah, I, I, want to, I want to be involved, man, seriously, because I, I, I haven't got a chance to go to the one in Europe, but um, I'll go to this one first. We are open here for everybody and uh, don't forget to tell all your friends about Indeed. the festival and invite Thank them you. here. Thank you so much, Eddie. Thank you Thank for joining you so us. much. Great, Thank great. You. Now, I went down to take a look at life-size plans. I didn't know what to expect, but it's the world's first painted real estate walkthrough technology. Absolutely amazing. And look at this, what I found out. Now, if you are in construction or you're an architect, I know the perfect place for you. The seamless blend of reality and plans coming together. This is Life Size Plans Dubai. So George, tell me about what Life Size Plans is all about. Life Size Plan Dubai is a very simple but unique concept. It's actually a projection from the ceiling to the floor of any floor plan on a one-to-one -one scale. Most of the time when you go to your architect and wants to uh, build a villa, your architect will offer you a one to 100 scale floor plan so you will be able to review it. Our concept is to actually give you the experience of walking through your future house, your future project on a one to one scale. So what you see on the floor is actually the actual size, the real size. Fantastic. So, I mean, I've got some big plans um, and I've got some mad ideas. So can you help me like map some, something out if I want to do my own massive mansion? Definitely. First of all, we can project up to 482 square meter on the floor. So most of the projects can be uh, projected on the floor and we can walk through. Anything you have in mind can be done. We also have some dummy furniture and other options that we can offer to our clients to visualize better what project they have. So Lane, as I told you, this concept is fantastic. It gives you a real life size of any project for your villa, but also imagine 
I am a business owner and I want to show you a real size of my oh, wow. coffee shop. This is grass. <laughs> so this is grass. This is real life. Yeah. And that's the size of your coffee shop. So if you have anything to change, to modify, to see if the layout is correct, mm -hmm. if we are optimizing the place, maximizing the dining area, here you go. You come, you see it, you validate, sign off. Let's build a new business. Just need a coffee now, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> this is brilliant. Additionally to one-to-one -one scale projection, Life Size Plans Dubai offers also an augmented reality. So we synchronize any of your floor plan with a 3D modernization of your project. So this is my reality and this is one of my dreams, to have my own coffee shop. And here it is. <laughs> Just need a coffee now. Now that was really cool, but was it as cool in real life as it looked? It really is actually, yeah, it's really good. Um, as, as I said, as I left it, I just wanted a, a coffee because it was so reality like a coffee shop, but I just needed the extra, the extra real, real life bits to it. You always want a coffee. <laughs> <laughs> but right now it is time for DXB in 60 Ferris. That's right, we are gonna put Astrid in the hot seat. We're gonna have 60 seconds to get to know you as much as we can, because unfortunately we're gonna say goodbye to you soon. All right, so let's get to know you as much as we can in three, two, one. If you weren't working in the art space, which industry do you think you'd be working in? Ooh, oh, that's a tricky one. Uh, <laughs> maybe the um, hospitality industry. Hospitality industry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's one thing you cannot live without? Ooh, coffee. Coffee, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Your motto in life and in work? Uh, curating emotional connections. I like it. Yeah. Your hidden gem in Dubai? My hidden gem, um, well, Asokal. Asokal? Yeah. It's not that hidden, anything it's else? Not a, yeah, <laughs> it's not that hidden, another hidden gem. Ooh, Albastakia. Oh, very nice. Uh, do you have an inspiration or muse? Uh, well, my family. Oh, okay, yeah, no, that's definitely an inspiration. Yeah. Uh, a book you're reading at the moment? Uh, I'm reading like a like an arts catalogue. I don't know if that works as a, oh, as a book. It's got yeah. pages, it's a book in my <laughs> book. Uh, why Dubai? Uh, Dubai for the positive and the collaborative energy. Amazing. If you could hang out with someone for 24 hours, who would it be? It would be Pablo Picasso. Pablo Picasso? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very interesting. That's why the shoes are like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Always, yeah. Well, Astrid, we want to thank you for your positive and collaborative energy and for sharing your insight and expertise with us here on DXB today. Thank you. It's been very inspiring. Thank you so much. Thank you. And I hope you'll be back soon. Now, after the break, the CEO of Gym on EMS joins us for our 30 minutes of fitness where Lane gets electrocuted. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. <laughs>